Welcome to this short CNF deployment demonstration with VMware Telco Cloud Automation. The term CNF refers to a network function running over containers instead of solely virtual machines. CNFs are common in 5G network services. CNFs also differ from VNFs because they use a lightweight modular microservice architecture orchestrated in most cases by a technology such as Tanzu Kubernetes. The CNF deployment leverages the GVNFM as well as the COS automation capabilities of Telco Cloud Automation. This demonstration will focus on deploying a CNF over an existing Tanzu Kubernetes cluster. The instantiation process for CNF varies from traditional VNF as the cluster hosting the CNF is customized at instantiation to match the network function requirements. This late binding process allows Telco Cloud Automation to configure and allocate cloud resources on demand based on actual awareness of application and service requirements. In this demo, we will perform three steps. First, we will onboard a CNF. Then we will instantiate the CNF over the cluster. And finally, we will optimize the cluster to fit the CNF requirements. Let's open the Telco Cloud Automation Network Function Catalog and onboard our CNF. The catalog provides centralized access to onboarded network functions of all formats. In this demo, we will onboard a session management function. The SMF is a network function part of the 5G core network to handle sessions. With Telco Cloud Automation, there are two ways you can onboard a CNF. The first method is by designing a network function descriptor with a Helm chart plus any required artifacts, or by onboarding an existing network function by uploading its CSAR package. We will use the latter method for this demo. We will name this network function Demo SMF and identify that this is a CNF using SRIOV configuration. These tags can be used as a visual reminder and as filters in the catalog. The Ready for Telco Cloud Partner Program grandly facilitates this initial part of the process. It allows VMware CNF vendors to certify their descriptor and CSAR package on the Telco Cloud platform, eliminating the too frequent onboarding headaches. Once the network function is onboarded, we can at any point in time go back in the catalog and edit the template. But now, let's go back to the catalog and instantiate that CNF. The instantiation process will bring us through a four-step process. As part of that process, we will first set the inventory details. The inventory details allow us to identify the instance, select the right cluster, and locate the image repository. We will call this instance Demo Instance. As we are selecting the cloud, Telco Cloud Automation will automatically identify the most suitable cluster to host the CNF. In some cases, no cluster will match the CNF requirements, like here. That being said, two clusters could be optimized at instantiation to meet the need of this network function. We will select the first one. Then we can pick a specific node pool to assign for the CNF. These nodes are the ones to be customized with specific kernel and SRIOV configurations. To complete this step, you specify the namespace and harbor repository for the network function image. The property step is mainly used for VNF, so we can quickly skip here. In regards of the inputs, the Helm chart of the CNF requires a specific YAML configuration file and networking inputs. Note that this step applies to each network function and will vary. Once this step is completed, you can simply review and deploy the CNF. The deployment process can be monitored from the inventory until it is successfully completed. As you see here, Telco Cloud Automation configures the cluster and will then start the instantiation process. That's it. The CNF deployment is a success. Let's look at the cluster reconfiguration that happened during instantiation. The Linux kernel has been modified as well as the SRIOV requirement. We have instantiated a CNF and customized its cluster in a few minutes, taking full advantage of automation. Thank you for attending this demonstration. Don't forget to look at the COS deployment demo to understand better the cluster creation process and the 5G service demonstration to see how CNFs can be chained to deliver distributed network services.